Are you? This ain't your alley. Huh? Hey! What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs.
Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a day with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nioka. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway? What can I do for you? But that's terrible. What happened? I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Eventually. Of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. I've asked myself the same thing many times, especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. You see what I have to deal with? For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. But back then, it was known as Terra 1. As you may have noticed, this planet has more than its share of hazards. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave them a reason to put to paper. Sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. It's humane, but it's also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms.
That's what I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Yes, some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. Must have pissed off some real big suits to get stuck with that. On the contrary! I wrote lots of very important reports on behalf of top MSI officials before I was able to achieve this position. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. I don't think I realized how far they'd stoop. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah, that'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. If you can't beat him, might as well join him and reach into their pockets. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. And being cut off means slow strangulation. Indeed, we've got to consider realities, not ideals. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes, it'll be easier to explain once we have the Bolt 52. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps, once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. It's straight bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments, by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. For the greater good. Allegedly. Yes, making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. I'm trying to build something here. They only want to destroy things, and they risk ruining Monarch for all of us. It isn't just that they drain our people and resources. Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all as destructive rebels, and pushes us further from the rest of the colony. He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. What can I do for you? Velma seen out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Who spat in your spirits, Velma? You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seeing triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. 
Well, you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades-old equipment and see what it does for your disposition. Anyway, what do you folks need? Stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterobiotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor-free. Something else on your mind? Sure can, if you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Sure, and once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. That about cover it? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Damn right he will. Hopefully that'll be the last I see of him for a while. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was gonna spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Join me for a second, will you? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out. 
and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I buried him away from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. in one of my first ships. You'll get used to it. Give it 10 or 15 years.
Think they left anything good behind? Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire.
scavenging here and a Mad Queen showed up, then raptored on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here and um now the door's locked. Little help? It's easier than it sounds, alright? Next time you get chased by Raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions.
Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind.
Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Thanks a lot, mister. I can take a hint.
Visitor? What an unexpected surprise! Please, come in! Come in! I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. In my experience, any stranger this friendly either wants to rob an airlock you or sell you something. Nonsense! Out here in the wilderness, we welcome all who come to our door. Now come in! Make yourselves comfortable! Excellent. You've arrived at just the right time. My wife is putting the finishing touches on dinner. Please, make yourself at home until it's ready. Something ain't right about this. What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the Eternal provides, does it not?
The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the Divine, and we were made to spread it across the stars. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, the universe provides for us, as your being here proves. Just that your presence here is a gift to us, and one that we don't take for granted. Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? Oh, hello there. You come for... for, uh, dinner? Are you sure? Because someone came for dinner yesterday. Or a week ago. Wasn't that you? Maybe not. It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments. Feelings. But the details slip. Other times, it's like there's... fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? You know, the ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on the front. Doesn't sound like any medication I've heard of. Nothing legitimate, anyway. They don't taste very good, but they make me feel so nice. Hungry, too. That's too bad. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked! Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. Some kind of off-brand drug, maybe? Wouldn't be the first or the worst. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. Think they'll notice if we slip out first? What are you doing in my room? Liar! You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring.
so for sudden asshole. Ain't enough that the raps eat everyone. Now people are doing it too. Who does something like this? But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? How very rude. Time to teach you some manners. Careful. Only things you'll find in the ruins are liable to shoot you or eat you. Or both.
Here's the road. Follow it south. Good old Stellar Bay. The only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Am I the only one getting hungry? <laughs> <laughs>